Hey guys, it's Awesome Nene, and I'm here with another video today. Um, so I recorded one yesterday, and I'm going to be posting that today, which is Wednesday. And this one I'm probably going to post today as well after it. Um, so yesterday was interesting. Um, after I was done recording, um, everybody was out free ranging. I've never had a problem. And I was getting ready to leave, and I came back out. I noticed it was really, really quiet. And... I come out to the barn and there's this giant red hawk and um, got a little bit of Brahma Mama. Uh, you can see I had to put some blue coat on her there. Um, and there was another girl which I was really, really worried about, but she seems to be okay. Um, she was not looking good yesterday, but I still kept her with everybody because it's easier on them if I just leave them in. I know you don't like him, but can you not do that in my video? Uh, where is she? There she is. Okay, so that one right there. Um, it got the side of her neck. And so she's bleed. She was bleeding and stuff. Um, seems to be okay though. I think he mainly just got a bunch of feathers. And if you don't know, uh, the quills have blood vessels in them. And so when they pull out the feathers, like, it'll bleed. Um, so I'm assuming that's probably what happened. But it was still nerve-wracking. Um, to have two of my girls... I think attacked that so you can see her her face and stuff um so yeah it was it was terrifying yesterday and there was nobody out I couldn't find anybody and uh the only ones out were the three geese and they were standing their ground hi pretty boy um but anyways so um, I did a quick look around to see if I could find anybody, because, like, my head is, like, on, like, what if you get everybody, what if, what if he and his friends carried him off, or something like that, or maybe they all ran, and I'm never gonna see my birds again, um, luckily, they are all doing really good, um, there are a couple, um, my, all the roosters and stuff were hiding underneath that truck, and inside the barn, these guys were all scattered in different spots. There were some hiding underneath the porch. There were some actually in um, my dad's work barn. So, like, they had crawled underneath here. They were underneath the tru this truck here. And um, they were inside the barn over on that side. And the roosters, Bruce and Zeus, actually had the girls pushed up in the farthest corner away from the entrance and they were actually surrounding the girls keeping them safe i was so impressed and so relieved that everybody <laughs> ended up being okay um and i'm very happy that the geese kind of i think the geese were helped out a lot um i think they definitely alerted to the issue and the birds and my chickens were actually able to get to safety without losing anybody so I'm just very thankful for them. Yeah, thank you. So, um, yeah, I was just uh, the deep <laughs> relief. That I, I was so happy. I was still terrified that he was going to come back because I couldn't get them to come out of their hiding spots. And so I'm like, I'm going to have to leave them out because I have to get going. And... And I don't want to traumatize them by chasing them around more. Also, these are big eggs. Holy mess. <laughs> when you lay any bigger, like, those are huge. Especially compared to, like, those ones. Like, like look at that size difference. Look at that size difference. Anyways, um, so... Yeah, um, the, the geese really helped. Bruce and, Zeus, Bruce and Zeus did a very good job taking care of the girls. This time around, I was very happy and very impressed. Uh, I feel like they kind of made up for last, I think it was like this summer, when I lost like two or three girls under their watch at night. Um, which isn't really on them because they are, they're not active during the day or during the night and that's when the, that's the farmer's job to kind of make sure everybody's safe and secure at night um but they usually alert and stuff but i couldn't hear their alerts <laughs> and 
Um, so yeah, they didn't do a good job at night, but it's nothing on them. Um, and they did a very good job during the day today, or yesterday, taking care of the girls and making sure everybody was safe. And I don't think you guys understand how thankful and relieved I am. I'm so worried that door was open just now. Um, so, and I didn't think, I didn't realize how big red-tailed hawks were until, like, they're on the ground and fly, and then they take off flying away when you're there. It's, they're big. But, um, yeah, just really that it's a happy ending. The only problem now, though, is that, uh, I'm gonna keep, I'm keeping them locked up. This was, uh, yesterday was going to be their last day out, and it's and I was actually thinking, well, maybe, maybe they can get like tomorrow or maybe Thursday or Friday um, out because those are supposed to be the last nice days, and then they just they'll just be in, and I'll pull the, the Bruce and Zeus out. But now I don't know. They're definitely they're definitely I don't think going to come out. I think I'm going to leave them in, but they're so spicy still. Um, and then the other thing is, Bruce and Zeus, they took care of the girls. And, and then after all of that, like, like, the way they saved everybody yesterday, and kept everybody safe, like, I don't want to pull them. So I've got some, uh, big flock choices to make here, and I've tried consulting my dad, and he's just like, oh, it doesn't matter. And he's like, but it doesn't matter, they're your flock. Who do you want protecting your girls? Do you want me to keep Bruce and Zeus in here and pull out the three younger ones that I, I wanted to keep in here? Um, do you want me to pull Bruce and Zeus and keep the other roosters in here? Do you want me to pull Bruce and Zeus and put in another group? Put Rambo... Guys, stop! Um, but put Rambo and Arnold in here, which I'm not going to do, I don't think. But they're really, really pretty. Um, so... We'll have to see. Just stay tuned for the decisions. When you're not, Isa Brown. There's a lot of, like, I feel like a lot of this energy is still from yesterday. Because it's traumatizing on birds. Um, so I'm hoping they'll kind of settle down. I did get them some suet cakes. And there, you can see them using them. There's one there. And there's one here. Uh, right there. Uh, so... Hopefully that'll keep them busy enough. Um, they still have a lot of food on the, like, scattered on the ground and in their dish. So they've got a lot of grazing they can do. Um, they should be okay, but just a little worried about the spice. I'm just relieved that everybody is okay. Well, I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, hope you enjoy that few minutes of, or the few couple sec few seconds of silence, you know, and just just listen to everybody. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer them as uh, well as I can. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, guys.